What's up, guys? It's your boy Zawoki back out with some more of Zawoki content. And today it looks like Doc is not in a good state, or Dr. Disrespect, I should say. Um, with all the drama that's going around and so forth like that, I thought I would do a little bit of uh, just kind of looking myself and looking at Dr. Disrespect's numbers yesterday. He was at 4,730,000 thousand subscribers and ever since he had posted that thing on twitter his numbers are starting to dwindle down is this possibly the end of dr disrespect i have no idea but we're going to be looking at um a couple things when it comes to big streamers that are looking at dr disrespect in a dark light and so forth like that again i'm i'm a smaller youtuber so i have no uh, I wouldn't say room to talk, but I'm just saying at me being only 50,000 subscribers, um, I don't know what he's or with that, with him being up there in the numbers, I'm not stating that I know more than he does or anything like that. I just, I just know that talking to a minor is a no go. Um, people are like, well, she was just 17. The man is 42. She is 17. Do you see the problem there? Um, with that being said, before we go any further, make sure you guys are subscribed to the YouTube channel by hitting that white bar icon down at the bottom right. Hit that bell icon next to it. So when I do post videos like this one, you guys will get that little ring notification that Zwoki myself has posted that video. And then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, thank you guys for the love and support. Now, looking at his numbers, um, we're going to look up at his um, declining YouTube uh, numbers. But we're going to be watching Dr. Disrespect is officially cooked. And I don't believe this is a good thing. That being said, let's look at it. Did you see LSF with the Twitch worker saying there are many more? Uh, Dr. Disrespect, most people have no idea how bad things are behind the scenes at Twitch. Uh, what is this here? How bad things were uh, behind the scenes at Twitch. I literally worked in an apartment that had access to most data information. I saw private whispers, etc. cetera. Uh, I saw things every single day that I wish I never had to see. Twitch up pedophiles run free every day. I signed NDA, I wouldn't get in trouble. Why did Twitch ban him three years after it happened? Probably because they didn't know about it until then. Like, Twitch isn't reading every single DM as it's being written. What's very unfortunate is that Twitch or any streaming service is used for people to go and create content. A guitarist, a, a musician, a carpenter, a gamer, uh, whatever have you. And it's there for people to enjoy other people's content. But yet we gotta sit here and worry about hot tub streams and people whispering inappropriate things. It's like, why can't we just like be normal? I know normally normal is vastly overrated, but geez Louise, I mean, we're, it's just phenomenally dumb that people use all this stuff for negativeness and grotesqueness when you could just use whisper as, Hey, how's your day? How's your day? Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, uh, do you want to get on streams later? Or do you want a game later? Or, I mean, but we're going to sit here and do this. So I think what's more logical is that either the person who he was DMing reported him ahead of time, or there was a Twitch employee that looked through his DMs. At this point, he's got nothing to lose and should probably just uh, release the whispers. My, and this is all like super speculation and everything, you would logically assume that Dr. Disrespect- And he keeps, ch he like updated his Twitter page like three or four times. He, he put in the minor, then he took it out, and then he put it back in, and then he took it back out. I'm just like, why are you changing that? Beck would tell a story that paints him in the best light. So that means that if something was true and it would make him look better, it probably would have been included. And if something wasn't true and it would have made him look worse, it probably would be downplayed or not included. Based off of that logic, it is 
quite possible that Doc did know the age of the person because he did not state it. And it's also an assumption that the person was 17 because logically, right, 17 is the closest thing to 18. But so if you could see 17, you would probably say that because that's the least worst thing. Doc admitted it. He didn't say, nobody said the age. Nobody, nobody said, said the, said age. the age. Let's take a step back. Let's say she was 19. Is it weird for a 35 year old man to married. be messaging a 19 year old girl whenever he's married and has a child? I think that's bad. Now, obviously it's not illegal, but let's be honest. Even if she was above the age, it's still crazy that you're doing this, right? All I'm saying is that Doc has made a habitual... Doc is not a good decision maker. Number one, messaging teen girls on your main account when you're 35 years old with wife and child. Number two, going live... He's 42 been talking about it in front of everybody. Number three, thinking that you have shungite pyramids around your house that's going to lower the amount of Wi-Fi vibrations. This is not a person who's good at making decisions. So if you have a tree and the tree's dropping apples, never trust the cheater. And that's another factor too, right? I mean, it's a lot of stupid fucking mistakes, man. Because whatever he said- He did, he, he cheated on his wife. Uh, there is apparently some accusations that are going around, which I don't I just see this person trying to look at fame, but they said there's a trans individual that had been messaging Mr. Dr. Disrespect and claims that he was going to give her all this promotions and stuff as a cam per person and, and apparently did not fulfill that commitment. And uh, ended up banning this person. I don't know how much that is in partake. But um, he did cheat on his wife. Which he <clears throat> um, stated back in 2017. Why did it take three years from 2018 or 2017-ish to 2020? Maybe they didn't know about it. I don't know. But it's just Dr. Disrespect mentioned and stated that he was talking to a minor. That's under the age of 18. Yeah, okay, three out of four states claim that 17 is okay. But for a person that is 42 years old, you probably shouldn't be, or not probably, you shouldn't be watching or talking or anything for that matter, anything, anybody that is under the age of 18. Plus, you have a wife. You have a kid. It's, it's an oxymoron of like, hello? Said that stupid fucking mistakes you go back you watch that again and he's saying it as if this isn't the first time he said this to himself so we only know about these adding the twitter po yeah, editing the twitter post yeah he did it <laughs> this like guy is not good at making decisions bro like <laughs> that's a lot of apples coming off of the apple tree and if you don't know who this guy is this guy is uh tim the tap man um one of the other creators that I definitely enjoy and follow and watch and so forth like that. For some reason, people are like, well, why has he got his shirt off? He's probably enjoying his day off or enjoying some relaxation. And guys like to have their t-shirts off outside grilling and lawn mowing and whatever have you. It's like, why are they? I have no idea. Um, for those that have probably not watched this, we're going to watch it. I've watched it already. Um, it's pretty much him stating that he doesn't stand with Doc. Is absolutely insane, bro. Everything I'm seeing. Or people are trying to say that Tim knew or Nick Merckx knew. Like, friends don't always tell everybody things. And they're like, well, he probably knew and he probably... Why would they know? What, what benefit would they know? I don't see them knowing it. I have known Doc for years, a while now. We've played games for years, and um, seeing everything that is spiraling right now is a uh, very difficult thing for me personally, and I'm sure for a lot of y'all out there. I think for me, I know a lot of you are asking, Tim, what are you feeling? Tim, what are you feeling? My bottom line, I think, is if what he is saying where he said that he was messaging 
a minor and it would sometimes lead to inappropriate talk teeter on inappropriate if that's wrong you knew that was a minor and those were the messages being sent i cannot support that i can't i appreciate y'all me up but because he, he unfortunately lost a friend unfortunate to say the least this is awful so appreciate you guys thank you for the love you give and uh i'll see y'all soon man this is another youtuber that i streamer that i watch um occasionally is nick burks so watch how he is pretty much stating that he has no affiliation with uh dr disrespect as well yo yo checking in i'm seeing everything on twitter and uh i read through doc's tweet and in that very tweet uh, he basically confirms that you know he was texting an underage girl and it went weird sometimes you know and, and look just to just to be blunt and straightforward man uh, it, it that's that's inexcusable it's unacceptable right uh there's no excuse for something like that and and i can't support it hang on honey doing this I'm talking to twitter i can't support it i can't defend it and uh look the boys and i are torn up over it too man because we played a lot of games with a guy and, and it feels a little weird but what can you do, you know? So I just wanted to update you guys on, on my thoughts and how I'm feeling. And, uh, I mean, look, I, ho I, hope, I hope you guys have a good day, all right? So now this is, it's a little upsetting to, to say the least. I should have taken the picture yesterday of what he had yesterday, which was 4,730 subscribe or 30,000 subscribers or 4,730,000 subscribers. This is what I took today, and then looking at his actual numbers to go down, this man's losing a lot um, going down. This is a uh, public record. It, it's You just type in anybody's YouTube channel. It gives you an estimation and so forth like that of going up or down and, and so forth. And and uh, I put mine in there too, and it's pretty, pretty accurate to the 10th. Uh, when it comes to subscribers and income and stuff like that, which don't, I don't care about the income part. It's the subscriber base from when he had posted yesterday till today um, that he was um, texting this uh, or messaging this minor. He's losing tens to thousands or 20, 20, 10. And daily average, he's losing 660. Uh, I mean, the man's going down in subscribers. Um, looking at his actual channel, I've actually unsubscribed myself just because I. it's just very upsetting to hear that one of the people that you looked up to has been affiliated with younger people than he shouldn't be. I don't like people that cheat, um, abusing and stuff like that, and... Looking at the vidIQ uh, stats, um, which I have available, um, you can see what is going down. I mean, in the past little bit of time, he's lost 400% of subscribers. Um, he's It's going down, and it might, I don't know. It's, it's not good. So I don't necessarily know if this is the end of Dr. Disrespect. Um, there's people in the past, unfortunately, that have committed some heinous acts and tend to ride the waves a little bit. Um, but what is your guys' thoughts? Um, do you stand behind Doc? Do you not stand behind Doc? Again, I can't completely speculate when how old the person was, but he did type in minor, and the man is of age to know better. I mean, there's again, <clears throat> uh, humans are not perfect, but like I said before, being not perfect is, Oh, I'm sorry. I swerved a little bit on the road or I made a left when I should have made a right. Not, Hey, I'm possibly messaging this person that went appropriate. It could have went differently or if we're going to be able to see those messages of the whispers and stuff like that in Twitch, I, 
I have no idea. I just wanted to get your guys' partake on it. Um, seems like big YouTubers and a whole bunch of people are starting to unsubscribe, uh, which is definitely unfortunate because the man has a talent in creating good content, but he just doesn't have the right choices in um, respectfulness, if, if you know what I mean. Got, has a beautiful wife. Ch ch I don't know if he has children. I've seen his daughter on lives here and there. But it's like you just want to stay away from that when you commit to somebody. Because you committed to that one person. Again, comment down below. Hit the like button um, for just helping out the channel. Obvious reasons. Um, not for what the video is about. Um, again, thank you guys for watching. Please take care. Be safe. And as always, keep nerding on. And we'll see you guys in the next video.